folks, David here again. First of all, thank you very much for watching my first tech tutorial video on how to use TouchCast to create video announcements. It's incredible hearing all the success stories from schools in Thames Valley that have started recording their announcements using TouchCast. I knew that I needed to create a second tech tutorial video when I recently went into a school and I heard some students whispering, hey, that's the guy from YouTube. So here it is. Here's my second tech tutorial video. Perhaps you've heard of something called Mystery Hangouts. Mystery Hangouts are becoming immensely popular around the world and right here in Thames Valley. The premise is simple. Two classes connect, the teachers know the location, but the students have no idea. And through a series of yes or no questions, students discern the location of the other classroom. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few different things. I'm going to show you how to use Google Hangouts, and then I'm going to show you how to use the Google Hangout platform to do a mystery hangout. Then I'm going to show you how to make a connection with another classroom that wants to participate in a mystery hangout. And I'm going to wrap it all up by showing you some of the setup and the hardware that's required to be successful. So let's get started. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, I see my app switcher. And that's indicated by the nine dots. Sometimes this is referred to as the waffle iron. When I click this icon, I see my Google Apps. But what I want to do is press more. And now I can see Hangouts. If Hangouts isn't visible, when you click the icon, simply enter hangouts.google.com into the address bar of your Chrome web browser. In this window, I'm presented with three options, video call, phone call, and message. For the purpose of this video, however, we want to select video call. And in the next window, I will be prompted to enter a Hangout name. Call that Mystery Hangout. Please note that I did not leave a space. And then press the arrow. And now we are in the Hangout. Across the top, working my lay from, way from left to right, we can see the silhouette of the person. That's how you invite people. Then you have the ability to mute your microphone. I would strongly suggest muting your microphone uh, when you're strategizing with your class in a mystery hangout. You don't want to accidentally give the other classroom any clues as to your location. So it's always a good practice to mute that microphone. We also have the ability to turn on and off the camera. Adjust the bandwidth settings, but I would suggest just leaving it as it is. There's our settings and leave call. Let's back one up to settings. In the settings, we can change the webcam that we are using, we can change the uh, microphone that we are using, and we can also change the speakers. But I'm just going to leave everything as it is and press cancel. On the left hand side, you have the ability to add a group chat window to share your screen. And you can also add some really fun Google effects to your Hangout if you wish. Things such as headgear, eyewear, facial hair, prompts, and even sounds. But we'll just leave all those things off for now. Perhaps the most important thing that I want to show you in this window is how you invite people. So I can click on the blue rectangle, but I can also click on the silhouette up here of the person that says invite people. And right now the setting, it's set anyone with the link is able, is going to be able to access this Hangout. The default setting, however, might be for you, is to the domain. So if it's set to the domain only, only people within that domain can participate in the Hangout. But it's quite likely if you're doing a mystery Hangout that the classroom that you're trying to reach is outside of the domain, so you want to make sure that it says anyone with the link. Then you simply take this link, copy it, and share it with the teacher that you're connecting with through email. Have it. That's how you use Google Hangouts. It's really quite simple. Create a room, share a link, and you're ready to go. Now I want to talk about Mystery Hangouts. And the most important question here is, how do you find another classroom to connect with? I have three ways for you to facilitate that connection. The first one is through Twitter. So let me just go to my Twitter page here. All right, and there we are. So up here on the top of the screen where it says search Twitter, there are two different hashtags that you can look under. First one is Mystery Hangout. So if you type that in and select it. Okay, now up here at the, at the top where this bar is on, on Twitter, always select live so you can see all of the tweets. 
All right, so right here are our teachers looking for other classrooms to connect with. And you can also uh, make a tweet with the hashtag Mystery Hangout to let other people know that you're looking to make a connection. Okay, and the other hashtag to look at is Mystery Skype. Okay. There it is. And again, I am going to select Live. Perfect. Now, you're not actually going to be using Skype. Uh, but if you search the mystery, uh, if you search the hashtag mystery Skype, the same thing, it'll give you the same results as searching the hashtag mystery hangout. Simply read through the tweets that other people have posted with the mystery Skype hashtag, um, and you can post using the mystery, uh, mystery Skype hashtag as well. Um, and once you find another teacher that looks like uh, a class that you'd want to connect with, then what you can do is send them a message, either through email or direct message on Twitter, and ask them if they would, wouldn't would mind using the Google Hangout platform instead of Skype. Okay, so that's one way, and that is through uh, Twitter. The other method I want to show you, I'm just going to do a quick Google search here for mystery Skype. Okay. And right here, you can see this is a Microsoft site, and that's because Microsoft owns Skype. So I'm going to select that one. And again, we're not doing a, a Skype, we're doing a Hangout. But I'm hoping that mystery, this site will facilitate a connection, and then once you uh, send an email or message to that other teacher, you can ask if they wouldn't mind using the Hangout platform instead of Skype. So right here on the left-hand side, it says find a classroom to play with. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click find a classroom. And then I, you can search by age group, subject, country, language, etc. But I really like to click on this map icon. Okay, And this will give me a map populated with smiley faces. Each one of these faces represents a teacher who is interested in doing a mystery Skype. And if I can zoom out, you'll see it's not just North America. Oops, there we go. You can see there's lots of uh, those smiley faces over in, uh, in Europe as well. But let's just stick to North America right now and click on one of these smiley faces. And when I do that, some information is revealed about that teacher, where they're located, what time zone there is. You can see when they're available. I'm going to click more here. right? And you can read through this. And once you've decided, yep, that's the person I'd like to connect with, you can request a mystery Skype down here by selecting this link and you can compose an email message to that individual. And again, in that message, just simply ask them, um, I, I say, I saw you on, uh, on, the, on uh, Skype's website, would you mind using the Google Hangout platform instead? And more often than not, that will be okay. So that's the second way for you to reach out and try to link up with another class. The third one, is by using Google Plus, which is Google's social media platform. So we're going to go back to this waffle iron. I'm going to select that. And right here, this red icon that says Google Plus, I'm going to select that too. So here we are. Um, and in Google Plus, Google has its structure. It has uh, different communities based around people's interests. So if I go to search here, I'm going to type in mystery um, hangout, enter. And it's this group here that I wanted, sorry, this community here that I wanted to direct your attention to. There's almost 5,500 members in this community. Here you can read people's posts, respond to their posts, or make your own posts saying that you're looking for a classroom. So again, this is another great method to, um, to facilitate a connection with another class in some other part of the world. So we have, um, in some, we have uh, Twitter using the hashtag Mystery Skype or Mystery Hangout. We have Skype's website, and we also have the Google Plus community. All right, and this brings us to the last portion of my tech tutorial video today. Uh, Hangout equipment and setup. Let's have a look at this. So you could technically do the entire Hangout on a Chromebook alone. The Chromebook has a webcam, it has a microphone, and it has some speakers, and of course a screen. Everything that you need to do a Hangout. However, you may want to consider the addition of uh, some peripherals to elevate the Hangout experience. For example, the, uh, the Ziggy or the iPivo webcam are good choices, and they're both available in the Thames Valley web store. The Ziggy, which is the black camera here on the left, also has a built-in microphone, which is nice. 
The IPVO is a little bit cheaper and it is on the right hand side, but this does not have a built in microphone, so you would need uh, to get uh, an external mic as well. Both of these webcams that you see here are uh, USB, so they plug directly into the Chromebook, and there's no need to install any additional software when you're doing a Hangout. You select this camera. Uh, from the settings that I showed you earlier and you'll be able to pick this webcam as opposed to the built-in webcam in the Chromebook. Here we have a Snowball mic, again also available on the Thames Valley Web Store. Uh, it's USB, uh, so if you were using something like the IPVO camera on the right hand side, you would plug that into one of the ports on the Chromebook and the Snowball mic into the other USB port. You're also going to need some speakers. Some computer speakers would be great. Uh, make sure that they connect uh, through the headphone jack and then this will allow all the students in the classroom to hear the conversations that are happening. And finally, to get that um, amazing hangout up on the big screen, maybe your smart board or some other screen in your class, you're going to need an adapter. The, uh, it goes USB to VGA. The USB end plugs into your Chromebook and the VGA end of the adapter is connected to the cord which is connected to the projector. So there is some equipment, you can do the whole thing on a Chromebook, but you may want to choose to add things like webcams, external mics, speakers, and you'll need the adapter to get it up onto the big screen. So that's it. It brings us to the conclusion of another tech tutorial. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos in the near future. If you have any questions about Mystery Hangouts or about TouchCast, please don't hesitate to reach out to me either through Twitter or through First Class. Thank you.